The materials you'll need to weather any prop are a spare cup for mixing paint, black paint, this will be used for the black wash, various brown paints, this will be used for dirt, paper towels to wipe up extra paint, and a few various paint brushes. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is do a black wash over the whole helmet. So I just have a cup of water in here, and then I have some black paint over there, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of it in, and then paint it all over the helmet and wipe most of it off, but leave a little bit of residue. This step depends on how much paint you're gonna use. If you want a lighter shade of darkening, then you use less paint and more water, and if you want a more dirty, weathered look, then you use more paint and less water. In my experience with weathering, the best way I found to do it is to get your paintbrush in the black wash and apply it to your surface and wait for it to dry for a few seconds just so when you wipe it off, there's still something there. And then you wipe it off and make sure to leave a little bit more paint in the cracks and grooves because that's what would be more likely weathered in a real thing. And depending on what you're weathering, you can also do more black wash and less brown paint wash or you could do more dirt and less black wash. And you can also do one or the other. You could get away with just a black wash as well. If you want a spot to be weathered more, then put a thicker layer of paint and less water. And if you want it to be weathered less, then use more water in the paint layer. Even if you apply a thin coat, you can still get a darker color by letting it sit for a few minutes just so it won't wipe off as much. I did about three coats of black wash and then I moved on to some more brown areas where dirt would be piled up in the piece. The darker spots for the black wash and the dirt would most likely pile up in the deeper cracks and grooves so just keep that in mind. For the brown wash I just took a little piece of scrap cardboard and I took a bit of the black wash and put it on that piece of cardboard and then I mixed that with a little squirt of brown paint and that gave me a nice dirty brown color. And then I applied that on all the spots that I thought would have the most dirt piled up on them. And also you can add darker brown or black spots if you're trying to go for a more burnt effect. And that is the weathering job all finished for this helmet. So now, let's move to the outro. This is a very easy thing to do if you just want to make your prop look aged, and I've done this multiple times on many of my props. I really like it, it's a simple method, and I hope you try it out too. This has been RGR Productions, signing off. Till next time. Iron Man Part 3 will be out soon.